Greetings friends, freaks and uniques, I am Rob Chapman, I'm a guitar player and today we're going to run down the top six pedals that you need for an amazing rock board and I've got a hack that I was taught by Aid Elmsley from Orange Amps about 20 years ago that I'm finally going to unveil for you and it will turn any single channel head into effectively a three channel head Please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't for the almighty algorithm, for the time is almost upon us. <laughs> In each instance, I will try and give you an alternative pedal or a recommendation for an alternative, but this one, there's no alternative. It is the boss tuner of the moment. Get yourself the Wazacraft Black Tuner. You need it to stay in tune. Simple as that. Also, here's the thing. A lot of people worry about, is it true bypass or not? Actually, sometimes, you really don't want it to be true bypass because you want that little bit of extra juice to go through the board and maintain your signal. It's like a dick pill for your tone. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave that in. So put it on buff. Oh, yes, Crybaby. Listen, it's the best wah pedal out there. I, I've tried lots of other wah pedals. Some of them are really good. But this is the best one. Hi, my name is Mr. Ride. Don't give a f It's the best wah pedal out there. <laughs> I've tried the big one. I think the big one sounds good as well. But the little one is brilliant. It's a green box. Now, I'm rocking the absolute classic TS9 Tube Screamer from Ibanyev because it's, you know, one of the best out there. And yes, it comes from something else and then it spawned a million green boxes. If I was going to go and recommend something really similar, you're all going to go, well, what about the nobles or what about the whatever? Here's something that isn't similar but kind of fills the same space. It's the Gritador. Try it. I'm sorry to your wallet because you're going to really like it. It's beautiful. A little bit different and really, really good. <sighs> Well, chorus is an absolutely classic rock effect. It's something that, you know, you don't really want it subtly, or kind of do you, I don't know. No, you don't want it subtly. You want it just blazing through, giving you that creamy, rich, rolling, organic sound. But if you didn't like chorus, I would try this. The, <laughs> this isn't gonna work. The Univibe from MXR, a little bit more Hendrixy a little bit more untamed and still a fantastic option. <clears throat> this is the final pedal in your chain and probably the most important pedal on the board. Uh, it's been the most important pedal on my board for a long time and it's the GE7. Now if you don't own one, I apologize that you now need to go and own one of these and you're not going to use it the way that you think you would. There are two ways of using the GE7. The first way <clears throat> is that you use it as a little trebly boost at the end of your board, like that kind of thing. You see? A little bit of extra treble, bump, bump in the mids, and a bit of extra volume. But Aid Elmsley from Orange Amplification said, you know, Rob, um, with the Tiny Terror, yes, it's a one-channel amplifier with no effects loop, but if you get a GE7 and you turn the volume off and you scoopy doopy, so it's a little bit less bright, uh, a little bit, this is an exaggerated image just to show you how it would look, and then you activate it and leave it perma on, that is your clean crunch. And then when you deactivate it and your amplifier was gunned, you're in lead tone tonality. So this is what I do. This is perma on, it gives me the clean crunch. When I want my rhythm tone, I step on that tube screamer. Suddenly I'm getting gain. When I want my lead tone, I deactivate the GE7. I've got full force valves, tubes blowing behind me. And you get that really natural organic lead sound because you've dialed the amp for the lead tone. You also get kind of a lot more power amp vibe in your rhythm tonality. This really is a cool hack. 
I'm not just saying this for the sake of making a silly video. The pedal didn't change then either, but it's a really good hack. So this is how it sounds. Okay, here are my feet. Today I'm wearing socks because I thought I'd treat you all. Please ignore the slight hum that I have from my amplifier. I've got some dirty electrics in the house. You can see the G7's already on. Here's how the amp sounds, and I've really gunned it. <laughs> So it's, it's a kind of crunchy, warm clean. By the way, any reverb delay pedal in the loop, I'm using the Immerse Reverberator, always kind of have. You could also use a digital delay or reverb from Boss or anything really, but just a little bit. You're not going to need reverb playing live because you're going to be in a giant room. The giant room is what we're replicating with the reverb, but you might want a delay, so I recommend the DD3T, because that name rolls off the tongue. If I want to add an effect, I can. If I want to use the wah, I can. So that's all fine. Let's get a hard rhythm tone with my tube screamer. Sounds really crunchy. If I add the chorus to that, it's going to sound super 80s. defeat the GE7 to give you the lead tone. entertained. Uh, it's a really cool thing to do. It's clever. Um, you can obviously just use the GE7 in the normal method. I've got a friend called Pete Honore who even said sometimes he puts one at the front of his board and one at the end of his board. I might go one better and put one in the middle. Have an amazing day. Take it easy. Chappers out. Stay hard. Stay <laughs> hard.